two, three. Huge in the Philippines. Tonight, live from the Inspire Theater on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street, in the heart of fabulous downtown Las Vegas, we present the Downtown Podcast. Starring your host, Dylan Jorgensen. Your co-hosts, Jeremy Martin and Ronnie Gore. Tonight's guest, from Rodeo Royalty, Brittany Holbrook. From Vegas Young Professionals, Danica Torchin. Musical performance by Kerfoot and Dow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Janet Jackson's baby daddy, Mr. Jeremy Martin. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Keep it off. Well, oh, yes. Welcome, welcome. Yes, the kid. Baby daddy, huh? I don't think so. I don't think so. Welcome to the Downtown Podcast, where we have guys like DJ Lenny in the booth. Give it up for DJ Lenny one more time. The only guy I know that can get away with wearing a shirt with his face on it. Like, that is awesome. I love that thing, man, and a bow tie. All right, well, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about what's going on in the news and in the world around us. First off, Janet Jackson, who will be 50 years old next week, is reportedly pregnant with her first child. I guess, I guess someone should have told her that's the way love goes. Thank you, DJ Lenny, on cue per use. All right, in a recent New York Times survey, the city of Chicago has been found to be uh, divided by things like race, class, neighborhoods, uh, residents are distrustful of police and politicians, there's uh, on the brink of a teacher strike and a school funding crisis. But there's one bright spot in the survey, and that's that everyone in Chicago is really glad they're not a city in Michigan. <laughs> no poison water in Chicago. We're good. We're good. Uh, Facebook screen queen Mary Lou Jepsen is leaving Facebook. That's right. Yeah, she wants to pursue uh, some next-gen technology with MRI. Yeah, she's hoping to help uh, create a platform for patients to use images and video clips to share their thoughts about their diseases. She's going to call it a meme RI machine. <laughs> meme, meme RI machine. Hey, they're not all tens, guys. You know that. No, 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 stop. You're good, you're good. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, an immigration survey done in Minnesota, of all places, shows that Minnesotans are, uh, they, they're not in favor of building a wall at the Mexican border. Yeah, that's right, no big surprise there, right? Like, what would they care about Mexico? But they are in favor of something to keep out the Canadians. <laughs> Get them away, right? That's where I want the wall. That candidate gets my vote. Sorry if there's any Canadians uh, anywhere listening, paying attention to anything I'm saying right now. I'm just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, exactly. <laughs> Bernie Sanders is in the news. He's hurled accusations at the Democratic National Convention uh, for unfairly tipping the convention towards Hillary Clinton. In an official response from committee chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz said, uh, yeah. <laughs> exactly what we're doing. Yeah, I mean, that's official It's official. That was the official response. Uh, in more political news, President Obama criticizes Donald Trump by saying the presidency is not a reality show. That's right. Uh, to which Trump responded by saying, hey, this has been an amazing race uh, and that he is a survivor. Uh, he also said that he is up for the challenge and his running mate will be the X factor in the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> Also, he's pretty sure that he's going to win because this is the real world and Hillary is the biggest loser. Right? Yeah. Maybe, maybe it's a little more like reality TV than we thought. Hey, huge news on the horizon, guys. I'm sure you've all heard about this and this has just uh, been on your radar. But the North American bison is the new national mammal of the United States. Let's give it up for the North American bison. That's right. That's right. Delicious, by the way. But it has been described as strong, proud, and free. 
just like America used to be. Right? I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. America's still very proud. Um, in, in, in honor of uh, our, our next guest up, which has to do with the rodeo, uh, I'm going to do this next joke. Uh, and it's not going to be very good. The, the hard part is I'm going to do it in exactly eight seconds, okay? And I'm going to prove that. I got my, my handy-dandy stopwatch right here to prove it. I'm going to do this joke in honor of the rodeo that's in town in exactly eight seconds. Are we ready? Here goes. Uh, the PBR is in Las Vegas for their last Cowboy Standing Rodeo competition. I guess we know who won't be winning, Tony Romo. Eight seconds, check it out, eight seconds, exactly, thank you. That's not as easy as I made it appear. All right, lastly, in sports news, Olympic legend Michael Phelps is now a dad. Can we give it for Michael Phelps and fatherhood, right? Yeah, yeah. That's not the joke, you guys, you can clap for him, he really is a dad. Yeah, uh, his fiance Nicole Johnson, gave birth to a beautiful, Healthy, seven-pound, nine-ounce baby dolphin. That's right. To answer your next question, it was a water birth. And uh, they, they chose to name the baby Boomer. I guess Flipper was taken. Uh, yeah, hey, that's three dolphin jokes in a row, folks. That's not easy to do. All right? I am working up here, DJ Lenny. You're working. You're working. Oh, man. But if you think Michael Phelps is fast, you, you got to wait till you see this kid. Right? I mean, he is the fastest swimmer of all of Michael Phelps' little swimmers. I mean, that's, that's pretty freaking fast. He came out with a gold medal on. It was awesome. Hey, we got a great show for you tonight here at the Downtown Podcast. Next up, Bonnie Gore with Ms. Rodeo, El Dorado, DJ Lenny. Take it away. Thank you, guys. Take a break and step out to the dazzling lights. Start where it all began. Try your luck on Fremont East. Listen to live music as you make your way down the street. You'll collide and connect with amazing people. Later in the night, you'll find a variety of restaurants ready to satisfy any appetite or craving you may have. Pick any bar, lounge, or cafe. Have a craft cocktail while the kids go down the slide as you relax and unwind with your favorite drink. Explore the shops and galleries you'll find curated items just for you. You'll love downtown Las Vegas. Show the world. Visit us online at lovedtlv.vegas. Tonight we have bona fide royalty in the house. Celebrating their 82nd year here in Las Vegas, Nevada for Hell Dorado Days, please welcome Miss Rodeo Hell Dorado, Brittany Holbrook. <laughs> welcome, Brittany. Hi. Thanks for coming on. Have a seat. <laughs> All right, Brittany, so Miss Rodeo Hell Dorado. First of all, can you explain to me a little bit, what is Hell Dorado Days? It's, it happens every year. I got a little taste of it last year, but can, what, you know, what does it mean? Um, well, Hell Dorado Days is, um, it's basically based around... Um, <laughs> like the Nevada, like a culture of like rodeo culture, right? It's yeah, it, it's basically, Western it's, it's culture. Western culture. Um, it, kinda, it started like around uh, about 82 years ago. Um, and uh, around when Hoover Dam was being built, so they brought uh, a um, a Arizona Arizona carnival barker uh, came in and decided to take the opportunity and um, and start it up. It's a little fun for the miners. Is yeah. how it started off. Yeah, and it's kept on going. There's competitions all week. Um, there's a lot of focus on the rodeo, which happens all weekend. But before we talk about that. Uh, 
you know, there's other competitions like a Whiskerino, and what is that? Whiskerino is basically, it's like a, uh, it's a contest for longest beard, best beard, uh, longest mustache, yeah. <laughs> and best mustache. Yeah. <laughs> but there's some lookers there. <laughs> I actually just got done uh, with measuring them all out. Oh, you got to measure them? <laughs> <laughs> That's, now, I want that job. Um, <laughs> so, rodeo, rodeo royalty, you're Miss, Helderado, Miss Rodeo Helderado Queen. Mm -hmm. um, what does that mean to you? What, do you? what are your duties? What do you get to do? Um, basically, I'm just a, um, I'm, I'm a role model to younger girls. Um, and I just, I uphold as, I, I just uphold the, um, the tradition of the rodeo tradition of Alperado. tradition of rodeo and um, because these girls are looking up to girls like me where we have to uphold certain standards and that's and I admire you for that it's hard I, you know um, competing as rodeo queen mm -hmm. you have to have really good horsemanship skills mm -hmm. and be a lady at the same time what are some of the things you had to do to compete uh, it's just all I had to do was do an interview and then I had to do my horsemanship um, and that's really, and it's really it. And you just, and you, just you make follow it sound so easy. Guide, <laughs> yeah, you just, the main thing is that what cuts out most people is just following the guidelines okay. and the rules. And you grew up rodeoing, is that right? Yes. What, what events in rodeo did you, because there's several events in rodeo, um, what did you compete in? Um, I've gotten the opportunity to compete in barrel racing, um, and I've done that for so many years. Um, I also did uh, Miss Rodeo, Miss Rodeo Oregon, okay, and Classic County Princess. Right. So you're really and you're really, yeah. and you're really well rounded. You also were in, you also did Hunter Jumper, which is another form of equine and riding, which is very hard. So um, I think they picked the right girl. In case you didn't know. I am also royalty. I am. <laughs> I'm a. I'm a honky tonk queen. I'm the current honky tonk queen. We need so, as many crowns as we can get. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, if you you know later down the line need a mentor for that, here I am. <laughs> I might need it. <laughs> so the rodeo is going on this weekend. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, correct? Yes. And it's in a different location. It used to be here in the heart of downtown, but they moved it to expand it. Will you tell me a little bit about that? Um, they moved it down uh, down to S South Las Vegas Boulevard. It's gonna be right across the street from the Luxor and the Mandalay, or the MGM. MG yeah, yeah <laughs> Wait. it's kind of both. Yeah, it's <laughs> so right there across from both of them, yeah. right? Um, and this year, El Dorado partnered with the PBR. Can, what is the PBR? PBR, it's professional bull riding. Um, it's basically just bull riders staying out there um, as long as they can for eight seconds. <laughs> yeah, great, right, and doing the best that they can. Yes. Well, and this is a special competition for the PBR because it's called Last Cowboy Standing. Um, and so it's kind of like a shootout competition, or how does it work, do you know? Um, it is uh, the top 35 in the world competing all at uh, one PBR uh, for the number one spot for the championship. So yeah, it's gonna be, is it all three days for the PBR or? It's all three, uh, 7 p.m., both, okay. all three nights. All right. And uh, prior to that, it's a full rodeo with all of the events. Mm -hmm. You were talking about mutton busting earlier. <laughs> so what is that? What is mutton busting? And is it something that Dylan has done? I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> mutton busting is um, it's for kids under 60 pounds. Um, they just... They so not for Dylan? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, they just hold on for as long as they can, um, and the longest one wins. Right, so they get them started really early, right? They yep. work them up through the ranks of bigger stock, right? <laughs> awesome. So where can people find out more about Hell Dorado Days? Um, can they meet you at the rodeo this weekend? They can meet me all three nights. Um, I'll be there uh, 3 p.m. every single day, um, and I'll be at the parade at 10 a.m. Um, on Saturday is the parade? Yes. Down here, Saturday though, right? Morning. Uh, yes. Okay. And where can they find tickets to the rodeo or to, there's a carnival and everything else going on? Uh, they can go online to elksheldorado.com. Okay. Um, and, and yeah, buy your tickets, <laughs> right? Yeah, and they can buy, it. they're not sold out yet. No, not that I know of. Not quite. All right. Well, thank you so much. I know you have a busy schedule. I mean, measuring all those mustaches must have you <laughs> right now. But we really do appreciate you coming on. I can't wait to see you at the rodeo and, uh, and everybody else, come check it out. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
All right, we have, a, we have such an awesome crowd. Thank you for coming back from the bathroom, by the way, front row. It was well worth the wait. I'm glad to see you there. <laughs> no, it's worth it, yeah. Uh, it's a lot of drinks. So anyways, this guest that we have is going to help a lot of the small businesses and entrepreneurs that we have. She is a representative from the Vegas Young Professionals. She's their coordinator. So please put your hands together for Danica Torchin. Come on out. Appreciate it. Hey, thank you for coming. All right. Thank you. So we hear you guys are throwing a party at a big nightclub, so we wanted to find out what else was behind that. <laughs> that's it. That's all you want to hear about right, is the nightclub white hot party. party. Because it's Vegas. That's <laughs> okay, well, we'll get to that at the end. But uh, let's talk about you're with a, a group called Vegas Young Professionals. They're kind of a subgroup of the Metro Chamber of Commerce. Yep. Explain to me, what is the Vegas Young Professionals? Uh, so Vegas Young Professionals is an enterprise of the Las Vegas Metro Chamber of Commerce Foundation. And what VYP is all about is uh, young professionals. We're here to help connect the young professionals in Las Vegas and um, try and create more partnerships between everybody. So Okay, yeah. so I get the partnerships part. But young is a tricky word. I mean, mm. where is this? Yeah. Like, who's qualified? You're, you still qualify. Not? You still qualify, I promise. Yeah, I see. So we say uh, 21 to 39 is our uh, age range usually. Um, but I what like. Do you usually, it's how young you look? Yeah, <laughs> maybe, yes. Yeah. There's pe <laughs> people, pa there's passable people here in Las Vegas. Very youthful town. Uh, so 21 to 39 is our general target demographic, um, but usually I say it's for the young and the young at heart. So there's always these people here in town that want to connect with young professionals because we really have such a great young professional nice. community here in Las Vegas and I never turn anybody down. Okay, so it could be if they're, if they're yeah. 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 Uh, oh, <laughs> The young people get enough applause. Yeah. You guys are, are like, walk me through what it would be like to join the group and what kind of benefits mm -hmm. I would get, things like that. Yeah, definitely. So it's free to join VYP, um, but each of our events and our programs are uh, like a very minimal fee. It's $10 for our mixers and for our professional development programs like our big wig lunches and also our panels. So uh, pretty nominal. And all you do is go to VegasYP.com, fill out some personal information, fill out some of your work information, press submit, and you're a member of VYP. It's really easy to join. All right, sounds that way. Yes. Sounds yeah, yeah, like yeah. Just a click away. Yeah, and we have a lot of- Credit card and click away. <laughs> no credit cards, I promise. Oh, okay. I promise. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I believe, I believe. I think, I think it's a good, I think it's a good thing. Unless now, you're what? coming to a program and then there's a credit card. Okay, so what about unprofessionals? <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> no. Here. No, yeah, they're really good. They, they're addicted to video games, live with their parents, that group. Where are they going to go? They can come to VYP and make connections so that they can become a young well, then they're professional. Become professionals. No, oh, it's good, it's good. Like nobody speaks up for us. Professionals are not always, <laughs> professionals. <laughs> True. Professionals are not always like business casual. I mean, it's really small business owners, um, young business leaders, uh, entrepreneurs who are, you know, we have people from Stitched Factory who have been on our gotcha. panels. We have a That's lot of cool. involvement with the downtown project. So, uh, so it's not just people who are wearing okay. <laughs> business <laughs> casual, you know? Yeah. But, the, but especially for a lot of entrepreneurs in the audience, this is a good place to go because they'll go to these mixers, mm -hmm. they'll meet other small business owners, they'll mm -hmm. meet other people who are dealing with the same kind of problems. I'm guessing that's the big value, right? Right. So um, our mixers are kind of our premier event every month, uh, and those are held at different locations around town. And we usually have between 80 to 120 young professionals there from a variety of different uh, industries here in town. So you really get a great sense of connection with other people to kind of build your business. And then the great thing about being part of the Metro Chamber of Commerce Foundation is we are able to utilize their resources as well. So uh, we're not only connecting people with young leaders, we're connecting them with the decision makers here gotcha. in the community. So um, if you're doing a startup, if you have a startup business, right. then you can kind of meet those people who can get it going again. Right. Uh, yeah, so sure. the Chamber yeah, is a yeah, great yeah. Resources, resource for business. Uh, I know a lot of the, some of the people that I have here, my VY peeps here tonight, um, are. VY peeps? That's what so we call clever. ourselves. We're VY peeps. VY peeps. So um, young, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought the audience was very young yeah. and professional. We, Hashtag VY yeah. peeps. And we, uh, we have a lot of uh, people who have actually started in the chamber and have gone into VYP from there. And um, that kind of like funnel relationship yeah. has really helped a lot of. Uh, our VY peeps become successful. So okay. it's been great. Right, so you guys this Metro Chamber of Commerce kind of umbrella thing. Foundation, you guys have yeah. your own piece. Mm -hmm. You guys can help each other out. I love it. Okay, so this white hot party, give me the dates. Yes. Uh, I'm guessing we just dress in white hot yes. gear. Yes, it's going to be white hot, you guys. I promise you. 
White Hot Fusion Mixer is our largest mixer of the year. This year it's Friday, August 19th, 8 to 10 p.m. at Lavo at the Casino Club. And if you've ever been to Lavo, it's really cool. Oh, very kind cool, Kind of a yeah. speakeasy yeah. kind of feel. And uh, it's going to be really fun. Lots yeah. of fun. We're all white because it's summer. Cool for the summer. And $10, I heard, includes the first drink? $10 includes the first drink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You were saving that. You knew what we get our I audience I know how to get you we all. Get. You're all invited. All right, Danica, thank you for coming thank out and talking to us. Give her one so round of applause. Yeah. Check out <laughs> Vegas Young Professionals. I'm excited. I'll be at the party. It'll be fun. <laughs> thank, so. thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Kerfoot and Dow. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Kerfoot and Dow. Awesome. That, that was awesome.
Ladies and gentlemen, that's our show. I'd like to thank all of our guests this evening. Thank you to our cast and crew, to all you podcasts at home. Remember, you're all welcome to be a part of our live studio audience every Thursday night, 9 p.m., right here at the Inspire Theater. Party with us uh, for the after party on the rooftop. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Like us on Facebook and Instagram at Downtown Podcast. Thank you. Salamat. Salamat. Peace. Love. Be kind to one another.